An exit strategy is simply a plan for what will happen when the owner is no longer willing or perhaps no longer able to run a business themselves. Much has been written about the subject, but it can all be rather intimidating. So to shed some light on the subject, we're joined by business advisor from CMC Partners. Tony Maynard is with me. Uh, Tony, let's be clear what you mean by exit planning and why is it so important? Well, you're right in saying that it can be very intimidating. Uh, business owners only usually sell their business once in a lifetime. Um, they're not familiar with how to go about it. And so they read textbooks or something like that, and it all looks daunting. Um, they do need help on the outside, that's step one. But I think the first thing they need to, to understand is that it is not as daunting as it first looks. So where should they start? What are the first things to consider when planning your exit? I believe that you've got to get down to some very basic thinking. I try to simplify it into three laws. Um, the first of which is the law of shrinking time scales. You go through all the preparations of getting a plan um, ready to sell the business and it all starts to run and you start as a seller of a business to get more impatient. And what are the dangers of trying to speed up the process? Well, a buyer doesn't want to be hurried, really. Um, they can get to believe that there's something to be hidden. Um, they don't like that, and if some, on the worst occasion, they'll just walk away. What's your second law? The law of increasing avarice, which is what it sounds. It is the closer a seller gets to selling his business, the greedier he becomes. And there's an obvious danger there. You've agreed a selling price, everything has gone along, and suddenly you turn around and say, can I have a bit more? Not a good idea. Not a good idea. Well, in occasions, there can be a justification for it, like if there's some extra sales come in or something like that. But you've got to do it in the right way, and you've got to rehearse the right way to do it. Which brings us to your third law and the fact that this is all a very emotional issue for owners. I call it the law of emotional wrench. I have seen people literally walk out of a room just as they're about to sign a paper, thinking, what am I going to do next? What have I done with it? What have I done? I'm selling my whole birth child. Everything that I've done is going out of the door and I'll just be at home. And it is a real downer and it can lead to the breakup of a deal. And obviously people need to be aware of that. So, so what can CMC Partners do to help with any of this? Firstly, by pointing out in advance that these things exist. It's like a kind of vaccination, if you like. Um, just by people being aware of it, then when the time comes, I just refer to the three laws and away we go. If you get those sort of thought processes right, you will approach the whole business of preparing the company for sale and the detail will fall into place thereafter. Okay then, Tony, thanks for some insight there into exit planning. And if you would like more information or to arrange a meeting with Tony Maynard, please go to the CMC Partners website.